Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brianna. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I am holding my camera on a pillow um, because I'm not going to just hold it up the whole time because why would I do that? But this will be probably the intro for this video because I never filmed that. I just started doing things. I'm sure there will be pieces I will have to piece together, but I don't know how much of that I will do because I don't remember what I filmed, quite frankly. Anyways, I moved to California. Yeah. apartment and then here's the kitchen area this will be the dining room area living room great lighting TV will go there um, this is like a little alcove moment so I'll put my desk there and then in my bedroom um, it's a bedroom <laughs> And then I'm thinking my dresser will go there. And then hallways with closet um, on both sides, which is cool. And then bathroom. So this is the empty apartment. And then there's the laundry dryer. I look like this, I sound like this, mm, not the best, not the best, but I can go through and kind of give some updates on where I'm at um, with the apartment, I was going to say apartment complex, apartment journey. We did, of course, lots and lots of shopping, so we went to Ikea, multiple Target trips, Home Goods, TJ Maxx. Walmart. I think that's actually everything. Um, and I've been ordering a lot of stuff online. So there's some things I've ordered and I'm waiting for. Mostly all of the, all the rest of the furniture I've ordered and I'm waiting for. So I'll do a very rough, realistic apartment tour. Um, and then I'll make some breakfast. So let's start that. So I'm not going to start from the door because I don't feel like it. But this is a, a glimpse of where we're at. <laughs> so um, I set up the lamp. I will definitely be doing some cable management or getting a table to like hide all those wires. Um, and then my couch, which is great and perfect. And I love her. And a little pillow from Ikea. And I'll of course have like a, a full breakdown of where everything's from later on. We set up these chairs. The, the couch was super easy to assemble. So love that. These chairs from Target. 
This side just has like my clothes and suitcases I brought with me. Um, my mom set this up from Ikea and then I got a new record player while I was at Amoeba in San Fran. Um, and then this is in the process. So this is going to be like a kitchen island area since my kitchen is pretty um, small. Um, so this is just extra storage and counter space. Um, and there's another kind of extra drawer that needs to be assembled that will be going in there. And we also got crumble cookies. They're so good. Um, and then here's what the kitchen is like. I mean, it's a kitchen and I have pretty much socked it up with, um, oh, my plates and stuff are in the dishwasher, but there's some mugs. Hey, Jimmy. Um, a bit of groceries, just a bit. My microwave's broken. That's not fun. Hey. And then going into the bathroom. Bathroom is working out all good. Do you need a towel? towel rack <laughs> so yeah have to order that from Amazon and that's on the way and then I got these two mismatched rugs but honestly you can't really tell <laughs> and then going into my room this storage closet is fully stocked and then here are all my clothes that I will have to hang up and then here's what the bedroom is looking like I have been sleeping on the bed so She's working. A little rough, as new beds always are. Um, um, my dresser would really come in handy, but it's not coming until the 25th. So right now, we're doing this. And that's okay, you know? And then when you walk back out, you're back here. So that is where we're at right now. Next up on the agenda, make breakfast, empty the dishwasher. Which one's first? Breakfast. <laughs> okay, pre-breakfast, um, I just got a package, and this, so I shipped my albums using media mail, and it's a little rough, won't tell a lie. <laughs> Here's the first box, the first box. This is a box that I got yesterday, and the outside looks pretty rough, um, but the inside was okay. They did add these these things on it, which I appreciate. But I just feel like this was heavier. That's my thing. So pretty confused by this one because I'm pretty sure this box was filled way more. Yeah, this box was filled way more and I didn't pack these. So it seems like they may have split up my boxes, my stuff. Um, but this is the only layer of tape on here. Unless, and the, the back is, the bottom is still fully taped, so. Um, kind of confused by that, won't tell a lie. Anyways, let's have breakfast. So, to answer some questions, um, one, I moved for work. I've been working remotely since November of 2020, um, but I am still working remotely for 
you know, the time being. But I finally moved out here for when we do kind of start going into the office. So next question is like, how did I move my stuff? Um, well, firstly, I got rid of a lot of my stuff. Um, I went to grad school in Atlanta, and then I moved back to Florida with my parents during the pandemic. So I got rid of lots of furniture then, um, but for the things that I did bring, I one, shipped them in my car. I shipped my car from Florida to California. That took about five, six days um, and was about $1,500 and was a pretty smooth experience. And my car and all of the contents came perfectly, thank God. Um, so, would recommend. Second, for all of my media, so my albums, my K-pop albums, my vinyl records, my books, um, CDs, all of that stuff. I shipped it using a USPS media mail. I do not recommend <laughs> because <laughs> Unbox came in terrible condition and everything was gone from it. And another box, um, was like half empty and then one box I'm still waiting for and I miss it because it has my books in it and I'm like I'm bored give me a book I wish I stuffed more albums in my car I will not tell a lie anyways the third way that I shipped stuff was in my carry-on so I flew with my family we just brought extra or they brought extra suitcases and I put my stuff in them um, <laughs> so yeah, that was the three modes of how me and all of my things were transferred. Um, that's another kind of reason why things moved so fast because I'm like so happy that my family came with me and like helped move me in and helped me like buy stuff and assemble things and all of that stuff. So very thankful for them. Um, but because of that, I of course wasn't filming that much. Things were moving very quickly um, and now we're here a week later.